Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to break into Harper's Fairy Armory. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this guide. Now, where you're going to want to come on your map to even find Harper's Fairy Armory is Harper's Fairy, if you don't know already. And for those of you who need Vault 76, here it is for reference. Now, once you know where Harper's Ferry Armory is, which most of you probably do who looked up this guide, what you're gonna wanna do is simply just kind of follow the path I take here. Now, once you get to this metal pole, what you're gonna wanna do is simply jump on it, like kind of at an angle. You gotta kind of do it right. Make sure you get as high as you can, and then you could simply jump over and clear the fence. And now you're inside Har Harper Fairy's armory, um, I believe without having to do a quest and stuff like that, which takes a couple of hours. So once you're in here, uh, a few key things to do is go in here and look on top of these drums. Sometimes there is stuff that spawns here. Make sure you look in the back of this truck. I've had a guitar sword spawn here as well as a uh, power fist. So make sure you look in the back of that truck. Coming over uh, this way, some notable loot is just like an ammo box, um, but be on the lookout just in case uh, I missed anything in this area. Going over this way, come inside here. Once you're in here, there's an explosive crate to search, so go ahead and search that. Search these because they will have ammo in them sometimes. Coming on over here, make sure you guys gather all this nice miscellaneous junk that's on the walls. Um, down here too. Be careful because there are uh, turrets here. Um, I did destroy them. They will give you things like copper and stuff like that. But make sure you guys are on the lookout for those and gathering their stuff as well. Uh, look here. There's going to be some extra loot. Make sure to grab that desk fan for a gear or two. Um, as you guys could see, another meta pile. This was a turret. So go ahead and you know uh, pick up the turret pieces when you kill the turrets. Coming over this way. Um, you'll find uh, some various items i believe it's purified water and something else um keep in mind the turrets may be a high level for you so uh just keep that in mind they were level 40 when i came here and it pretty much took everything i had to get through them um but sometimes they're level 6 sometimes they're level 15 and 18 if they're too high of a level for you simply server hop until you find uh the, the turrets that are kind of low level spawned um, always look in this corner there always seems to be some sort of weapon um, I had a machete spawn here like you see now I've had the death tombone I have had uh, pretty much uh, I had a spear spawn there once and I had the revolutionary sword spawn there once uh, so keep that in mind um, be careful for these trap right here they will light you on fire if you go down here they'll light you on fire so the best way around it is to simply jump on this railing right here and then jump on top and now you're over here uh, and you could start to loot all this stuff make sure you grab everything here waste oil there'll be a couple other items here make sure you grab everything that you can um, when you go down the stairs over here uh, there'll be another turret make sure you search that uh, make sure you gather up all the loot you can in this area uh, making sure I didn't miss anything or something, you know, spawned for you that didn't for me. Now, you'll see this hacking terminal. You don't actually have to hack it. Simply jump on the conveyor belt here and head straight through. Look at this. Make sure to gather up all that loot. Gather up all this loot here as well. Coming on over in here. Uh, make sure you guys search that wood crate. Make sure you guys search on top of that because there always seems to be a weapon there. Always seems to be a weapon here too, so make sure you search that as well. Coming over this way, make sure you search this wood crate. There will be turrets here by the way, so just keep that in mind. Um, search this wood crate and this wood crate as well before heading up the stairs to kind of the main armory room. Um, I always have a mini gun spawn here for me. There was an assault rifle that spawned here for me last time, like a night vision assault rifle, which looked really cool. But now it's just a short hunting rifle. Keep in mind, the weapon spawns are going to be different each and every single time. Turning around slightly, there will be another turret, so keep that in mind right there. Um, look inside these because they'll have various ammo in them. Uh, look inside these lockers because they'll have various things in them as well as you guys can see a Salisbury steak here some gamma rounds and a spiked knuckle mod jump on top of these boxes here and you'll see fragmentation grenades and plasma grenades go ahead and grab those uh, typewriter desk fan typewriter um, over here you have typewriter desk fan grab those for some uh, gears go ahead and hack this terminal it will be a level zero once you get in here you will have access to the industrial 
Demer Chunk. Also, make sure to search the terminals and stuff like that. Not going to point anything out because I don't want to spoil anything too much. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys search these terminals and uh, read the information that they have on them. There's also another terminal over there, which you probably already seen. Once you loot this, jump out this window here. It doesn't have to be that window. It could be any window. Jump up on top of here. Jump up here. Jump up here. And then jump on this one. You're going to want to kind of angle yourself and kind of jump towards this metal ledge. Make sure you guys stick to it. Once you stick to it, you'll come across ammo crate. There was a marksman hardened sniper rifle here for me. So you guys could go ahead and grab that. Um, and you guys could see there's also a duffel bag here as well. So make sure you go ahead and search that. As you guys can see, this has got some pretty decent stuff in it. Stealth Boy, Stub Nose 44 pistol, and stuff like that. Anyways, that's how you break into the Harper's Ferry Armory. Just wanted to share that with everyone. No exploits, no glitches, just simply jumping, jumping, and you're in. Um, like I said, uh, the turrets do spawn here high level sometimes. So if you get high level turret spawns and they're, they're, they're killing you, simply hop to another server until you get low level turret spawns. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Um, I very much appreciate it. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next video. But until then, remember to stay freaky. And goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.